Atrial fibrillation is the commonest heart rhythm disorder and affects millions of people around the world. It's relatively uncommon in people below the age of 30, but as people get older, it increases in frequency and affects about 5% of people above the age of 65. The condition is associated with a fast, irregular and rapid heartbeat in most people. Normally, the heartbeat is controlled by a small, specialized area of the heart in the top of the heart called the sinus node. People with atrial fibrillation lose this normal control and the heart becomes irregular and chaotic instead. Atrial fibrillation can produce a variety of different symptoms in different people. Most commonly, people feel palpitations, so they're aware that the heartbeat is fast or irregular. Some other people just feel more tired than usual and feel they cannot do as much as they usually do. Others feel breathless and some others may feel chest discomfort when the heart beats very fast and irregularly. There's a subset of people that have atrial fibrillation and have no symptoms at all. Usually elderly people may have no symptoms with atrial fibrillation, but nonetheless the condition can still be dangerous because it can be associated with an increased risk of stroke in those people. There are a variety of different causes for atrial fibrillation. Some causes are due to heart problems, others problems outside the heart. Problems outside the heart include things like hyperthyroidism or thyroid problems, which can cause AF, and some people who drink excessive amounts of alcohol can also get atrial fibrillation. An electrocardiogram, or ECG, is an essential part of diagnosis, although other tests are often used, including halter monitoring, echocardiography, and exercise stress testing. Atrial fibrillation is important to diagnose and treat accordingly because it can be dangerous. The dangers include the risk of blood clot forming in the heart when the heart fibrillates or becomes irregular, and the blood clot usually forms in the top chamber of the heart in the left atrial appendage. The problem with these blood clots is that if they break off and go into the circulation, they can enter the brain and cause a stroke or other parts of the body to cause uh, problems with, with the blood vessels in those bodies. The treatment of atrial fibrillation is quite complicated and depends on a number of factors. It depends on how much the uh, problem affects the patient, whether they feel palpitations or have no symptoms at all, and also depends on the person's cardiac problem and medical history. Generally, when we talk about treatment for atrial fibrillation, we consider the symptoms and to try to treat the symptoms, but also to lower the risk of a stroke and blood clots in the heart. The treatments that the doctor decides to use may include medication to try to keep the heart rhythm stable, or sometimes if medicine doesn't work, patients may need to have a special form of keyhole surgery to try to treat the cause of the atrial fibrillation, and that is called catheter ablation for atrial fibrillation. In some other people with persistent or chronic atrial fibrillation, in other words, their rhythm is in atrial fibrillation all the time, they may need to have a special DC cardioversion which is a shock treatment to reset the heart. And some other people who have atrial fibrillation and very slow heartbeats or dizziness or blackouts may need to have a permanent pacemaker to protect them from blacking out. AF is very, very common and some people with no symptoms can still have AF. It's important that it's picked up and diagnosed and treated correctly by the doctor because it can be associated with very serious problems such as a stroke or weakened heart muscle. If in doubt, if you have palpitations or you're not sure or you have risk factors, it's better to get checked out and check whether or not you have AF that needs treatment.